Having established the ideal jetting factor, you then move on to a needle clip adjustment and setting the needle factor. So again, enter the current weather conditions. Always remember to do this as the software, as you can appreciate, calculates air density and then works out the optimum jetting for those particular weather conditions. In this case for the K28 needle clip P3 is recommended for these weather conditions. Place the clip at P3 and go out and complete another track session. This time concentrating on mid-range performance which of course is controlled solely by the needle jet selection and the needle type and needle clip position. On returning to the pit Discuss your performance with your pit crew and again examine the exhaust header, spark plug and piston crown and determine which way to go. If you are unsure, try both directions and concentrate on maximum performance in the mid-range. Again the methodology is exactly the same as selecting the main jet, enter the current weather And let's make the assumption you need to go to uh, P2. Dial down the needle factor to P2. P2 is now selected with a needle factor of 459 in this case. Go out and complete another track session. And again, on returning to the pit, determine if the performance has improved or worsened. In this way, very quickly you will arrive at the ideal needle clip position for these weather conditions and again using this simple process you will have established the needle clip position and the ideal needle clip factor. You can then simply lock the software next time you return to the track you simply enter the current weather conditions whatever they may be and the software will calculate very quickly using your original baseline the ideal needle clip and main jet required for those weather conditions. You can further fine tune JetTech's internal software dynamic simulation model by using JetTech Flowbench. Using JetTech Flowbench you can adjust individually the rate of change of the needle clip and the main jet independent. To demonstrate this feature let's quickly select minus 20 for the needle clip and then using the flow bench simulation cycle to a lower air density by pressing this button you can see air density coming down and of course the main jet changing as air density changes but you will note that the P2 position hasn't changed. This is because of the minus 20 selection. Returning to zero quickly. <clears throat> you can similarly adjust the main jet in the same way. Were we for instance to select the maximum variation with air density of plus 20 and then cycle lower you will see a massive change in the main jet with air density. Again reset and were we to reset to zero again the normal change with air density will be resumed by the software. Now in this way you can perfectly match your air and fuel flow characteristics to match the engine carburetor requirements. However, JetTech Flowbench is a powerful adjustment feature and should not be used by inexperienced tuners. It is important that if you adjust JetTech's dynamic simulation model using JetTech Flowbench, then you must do this on the basis of sound tuning information such as exhaust gas temperature monitoring or maybe a lambda sensor fitted to your exhaust pipe. In this way you can perfectly match the 
performance of your carburetor, engine and exhaust combination. However, the use of JetTech Flowbench may not be required as the standard settings for the software are normally more than adequate to maintain optimum performance for all weather conditions. Having locked the software, you can then simply enter the information from your weather station and the perfect jetting will be displayed by the software.